tell you what, let's look at creating a really good video production workflow. What do you say? Now we're dealing with a video editing program, non-linear editing, Adobe Premiere Elements version 11. And I have found out, and you may already know this, that even a simple video project can turn very complicated very quickly. And if it already is defined as something being complex, you need a good workflow. Now an expression that came out actually long before computers, back in the data processing industry, IPO. Now you might think initial public offering. Actually it stands for, at least it did, input processing output. And I think that is an excellent way to break down any Adobe Premiere Elements project. So let's talk about that, but don't forget, technical information is about to be disseminated, so please stay alert at all times. Let's talk production here. First thing is input. Input to a video production program. I'm sure your first guess and mine would be video. In our working files here, we're going to have two different types, standard video cam and HD. Now standard runs about 350,000 pixels per linear inch. HD runs like about 2 million. To me the whole idea besides formatting and ratios, and we'll talk about that, is quality. Obviously it is a quality issue. The next thing would be say photos. Now not everything would be video. You might want to have some photographs behind things like maybe titles. And that to me would bring in maybe the thought of Adobe Photoshop to do the processing. Next graphics but not just like oh little gif files or something like that because i would go back to photoshop and photos for that i'm thinking illustration kind of stuff so i'm thinking more like maybe things that adobe illustrator could do really good and premiere will take in next thing would be animations now these are non-premiere animations for example i use a program called motion and i do a lot of my motion graphics in that program and then i bring them in to use and the last thing obviously would be audio. Although I can see us, I don't know, doing a silent movie if you want to do one, but we would need audio. Now all of these things we kind of bring together as our input. The next thing of course is we begin the processing by going into the program itself. The first thing would be adjustment. Now by this word adjustment I mean like, oh, trimming the clips in terms of their length, cropping them, doing things to the clips physically to change them. Next would be correction, and that would be like lightening or darkening, maybe even color correction. Premiere does a lot of that stuff for us. It's really good. I would really want my audio quality to be really good and more or less equalized between different clips. So I'd want to check that out. And again, Premiere has some really good audio tools. My use of the word effects here is different than, say, animations over there on input. I'm talking about things you can do inside of Premiere. So I would define maybe even a titling effect as part of an effect I would put into processing. And then finally, soundtracks. Now soundtracks are audio, but again, the reason I put them here with Premiere is Premiere is bundled with something called Quick Tracks. I really do like it. I've been using it for years, and it makes really good soundtracks. We'll talk about that. Finally, output. Now I'm getting the cart before the horse, or however that expression goes. I want to know my output before I ever start the project. That does make sense. But my output could be, well, it could be a DVD or a Blu-ray, and Premiere will do that for you. I could put it out onto the World Wide Web, maybe YouTube or a personal website, smartphones, tablets, mobile devices, input processing output. Breaking it down like this can really help you put the whole project together and save According to university study, one day out of five, 20%. So in review, we start with input. Now to me, input is going to be put together someplace, like a folder. We're actually going to use a program that comes with Premiere called Organizer to put all of our working files together. Next, of course, comes the processing of the information. Now I find myself when I'm doing processing to be kind of like in a loop between that and input. No matter who you are, myself included, if I'm doing a complex project, I've always forgotten something. So I'll be going back to input, kind of back and forth between input and processing, and then of course, finally, the output. But don't forget an expression, begin with the end in mind. Know your output first. For example, let's say you want to put this together as a DVD project, but you also want to put it out, say, on your website as a very small, kind of like non-high definition kind of thing. Well, don't design for the small designed for the big, because in Premiere you can always walk down the hill. You can always lower the quality. 
But if you design it with the idea in mind that you're going to put it out on your website and then decide later you want to put it out as a DVD, there's no button you can click that's going to make it into a DVD, but there is a button you can click that'll make a DVD something lower resolution. Begin with the end in mind. Put all your stuff together and process it. Video production workflow.